Hello and welcome back everyone, my name is Little Corn Dogs, and in today's video I'm going to be going over how to make a simple plane. Not a beginner plane, but a simple plane. Um, so first of all, let me take that away. Um, so as you can see, 1 tilts us forward, uh, 2 tilts us back, 3 tilts us left, 4 tilts us right. Um, and I did key bind these to uh, T, G, F, and H. I'll get into that later. But um, um, not to confuse you guys, I'm just going to take it for a flight. And so let's click W, which makes us go forward. I'll click 2 a little bit to bring the back end down. Um, I'll click D so that I can turn right a little bit. And then I'll click 4 so we can tilt, you know, tilt right a little bit, like a real airplane. Very cool. So. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a plane or a spaceship or UFO, whatever you want, really. Um, anything that really flies, you can use this on. I mean, I guess you can use it as a car and have a stunt car, but uh, the cool thing about a suspension glitch for tilting and turning is uh, you can actually just go like straight up like this. You can just get your vehicle to go straight up, and then you can have it do a backflip, just cut all power and just go like that and uh, keep flying. So it's pretty cool. It's very cool for um, like dog fighting with your friends, you know, like getting airplanes and shooting at each other um, with spud guns and stuff like that. So that's very fun. Let's take it in for a landing here. It's not going to really land like a plane, more like a Harrier. But uh, yeah, anyways, let me show you the differences between the two suspension glitches so we can get this video started. All right, moving on to suspension glitches. The two different kinds that there are are this one that's just a stay upright type of glitch. Uh, it's like you weld it to uh, bearing and a suspension. I have that in another video. I'll put it up on screen right now. Um, but basically, it just keeps your ship or airplane, whatever you're building, upright. You just weld it to all four corners or corners of your aircraft, and it will not tip over. As you can see, I'm just hitting it, and it doesn't want to fall over. Um, this is great until you want to start doing something really cool like tilting and and doing stuff like that So this is the second type of suspension glitch. You might have seen these on cars You might have seen these um, on other airplanes, but not really understand it So as you can see there is a bearing here um, Connected to a metal piece. It could be a block as well and then connected to a suspension and then connected to another block. This could be a metal piece as well, but um, blocks just look more flush, so I like using those. So as you can see, when you connect a bearing to a seat that is also connected to a uh, uh, suspension, when you turn left and right, it doesn't do anything. But as you can see, uh, that front block there is kind of dragging behind, if you could see that. So. Um, the suspension has a lot of resistance, I guess you could say. So as you can see here, when I put a block there and I turn, um, I don't know why it's not working. <laughs> uh, probably because this thing's really, really wide. Let's try this. Let's, uh, let's put it on there. Okay. So, um, when you turn, there is, it, this thing forces, <laughs> it, it forces to go in a certain direction. So um, we'll do it the same on this side. And then, so uh, let me actually put a block on here so there's less uh, friction on the ground. Um, something like that. Just so we're off the ground a little bit. So like I said, uh, when we would turn right, that friction of the suspension forces it to go in that direction. And then when you click uh, A, you go the other way. So this is W, A, S, D controls. Well, I guess just A and D controls um, for left and right. But you need to also do this. Um, if you're building a plane, you want the whole thing to, you want this front end to go up or you want it to go down or you want the uh, left side to tilt this way and you want the right side to tilt that way, vice versa, different directions. So, of course, you can't just connect a bunch of these guys to your uh, seat here because it only has A and D controls. But if we get a button and if we get a controller and we connect these two and then connect the button to the seat and then build another one of these guys but going in an up and downward direction like so here we go um, so this is a little build tutorial for you so you can understand how the suspension glitch is made also i'm going to do a block here instead of that metal curved piece that's in there um, just to show you guys that you can do really whatever 
whatever kind of block that you want here. So let's do that. And then a suspension on there and then a block as well on the end. I guess we didn't need it that long. Okay. And then you can go up here because you need resistance on both sides. And then we connect the bearing to this guy. Do not do this one. For example, if you do, it'll just start going on its own. So, um, yeah, don't do the first one. Do the second one. So let's take that back, that one, and then go here. So, as you can see, blue for some reason is green um, right here. Maybe I'm just colorblind. I don't know. That looks green to me. Um, so the blue here is this direction as well. So if you want it to go a different way, then you just right click it and then do it that way. Anyways, uh, also turn it up fast. Make sure it's not on loop. You're good. And then now that that button is connected to the seat, let's get it off the lift here. Um, and then when we click one, it'll start tilting forward. Let's do that again. There we go. Okay, so we have left and right and we have forward. So now we need to do backwards. And again, same thing here. Let's get that. Let's get a button. We connect these two and we build the same exact thing that we built on that side on this side. Um, again, if it's like a skinny long airplane, like the plane that I just showed you guys earlier, um, you can put it all in whatever direction that you want. So, um, it doesn't have to be like very, uh, very spread out. Like I have it. This is just so it's simple to understand how to do this all. So again, bearing that uh, hazard block it doesn't have to be hazard block, whatever block you want. And then we get another one of these guys and then let's, uh, yeah, let's put a block on top right here. So that there's resistance that way as well. Um, here, that's connected. And then number two. Very good. Okay. Now we go here. We go 15. We go fast. And then two. Let's test it. There we go. So now that's leaning backwards. And then, so one is forward. Look at that. Breaking the laws of physics here. And then backwards. We could just balance ourselves right here if we wanted to. Um, you can also do self-balancing things like motorcycles and um what else uh unicycles all all that stuff um yeah anyways um instead of a button for that though you just have a sensor i'm getting off track but anyways we have left right we have uh forward down and then we have uh two is up um so yeah i have one no two more things that we need to do so now we need tilt so now we need to tilt one way and then tilt the other so to tilt right we got to do the same thing again like this let's just do both of them at the same time like that we get that suspension there and that suspension there a block a block this guy and that and uh, also if it doesn't work when you just go straight across you know like it's not tilting for some reason um, it could be because it connected to the top of this and then there's no resistance as it goes up. I don't know if that makes sense, but basically just do it from the center out and then the center out um, just so it doesn't mess up. Also, did I put a bearing there? Yes, I did. Okay, cool. Um, another uh, suspension. I was about to call it a bearing. Another one there. Let's go out and out. I really hope that this is making sense. Um, probably not. I don't think I explain things all that well. Um, but we're gonna, uh, oh, I'm gonna try. I don't know why I'm talking like I'm multiple people. We are not gonna do anything. Um, okay. So now we connect that and then we connect that. And now that these are connected, we gotta go one and fast and same here. Um, one and then fast. So as you can see, these are going the same direction. So we might need to flip them, but we'll find that out when we get there, won't we? So um, I think it's this way and this way. Okay. So we have one, we have two, we have three. Whoa, whoa. Okay. So these are not going the right way. So I was right. We do have to flip something in the back here. Um, so I think it's this one, but we'll test it. We'll see. 
Okay, so left and then right. Very good. Okay, so we have forward nose down, back, back up, and then we have left is left, and then right is tilt. Right. Very good. Okay, so the reason why I'm saying left, right, up, down is because I went to, let me show you guys exactly what I did. So as you can see at the bottom of my screen, one, two, three, and four. So um, A and D is doing the normal turns, but then one, I'm not gonna be pressing one as I'm holding A and D and W. It's just, it's very, it, it's a very weird layout and it's not comfortable if we have rockets and thrusters on here and we're flying through the air, it's not comfortable. So I have, W, A, S, and D, so um, A and D is my left and right, and then I have T, G, F, and H. This is, I really hope this is not confusing, but we'll see. Um, controls, so, okay, so hotbar item one is also T, hotbar item two is also G, um, hotbar item three is also F, four is H, and then I did five is R, and six is Y which is just on the side of uh, T. So um, I'll put something on screen that makes it a little bit not as confusing. So um, let's say all my flyers are exactly the same. So let's just spawn in a flyer. Okay, so I wanted to go out into an empty field so I can show the things on screen. So um, one, which is also T, tilts me forward. And then two, which is also G, tilts me backwards. And then three, which is also F, tilts me left. And H, um, which is also four, tilts me tilts me to the right. So um, that's basically it. I don't know if I explained that very well, but um, so if I click W, I connected that to the thrusters, so that'll just make us go forward. And then I have A and I have uh, D, which turn me left and right. And then we put that all together with the one for tilting, two for tilting backwards, um, three for tilting left and four for tilting right, or T, G, F, and H. So it's basically just another A, um, what is that, W, A, S, D, right next to itself. So um, I just have um, six fingers on the keyboard at all time. Um, so I could tilt forward, I could tilt backwards while I'm turning to the right. I can do a crazy little spiral spin here. Um, we'll see if I can recover from that. <laughs> um, and then of course land back on this guy here. Let's see if we can come in for a smooth landing. Not really, <laughs> um, but it's definitely more precision. So it's essentially just this guy here, um, left, right, forward, backwards, um, tilt left, tilt right, but it has thrusters on it. It's very easy, it's very easy. So as you can see in the front there, A and D, and then as you can see, on uh, the sides here, um, it is T, and this side is G, and then it is um, F, and then it is H. Um, so it's like I said, it's just another WASD that I key binded. Um, again, I will show that on screen. So hopper item one is also T, hopper item two is also G, hopper item three is also F. Hopper item 4 is also H, and then for extra button, did 5 for R, and then I did 6 for Y. So, um, I really hope that that made sense. Anyways, let's just add thrusters on here, um, and I'll show you guys exactly how it all works. Alright, so now that we're in the air, as you can see, it's tilting forward a lot, but the best thing about this guy here is that it's manual. So. Uh, you don't have to rely on a suspension glitch to keep you upright. You're the one that's having to press the button to keep you upright. So I keep tilting forward, so I'm going to have to have to keep clicking two. Um, again, I hope this video wasn't super confusing. But uh, also, there's other ways to do these suspension glitches in more of a uh, cleaner, more sleek manner. But that's a lot more confusing 
So uh, let's come in for a landing here. But as you can see, I mean, it's very uh, doable to have a plane or whatever the heck this is, a computer chip that flies, um, to be very uh, stable. I mean, you don't have to worry about flipping over. I mean, here, let's, let's just try flipping over on purpose while we're in the air and see if we can uh, recover from it. Again, we'll probably have to go a little bit high. Uh, if we tilt back, I wonder if those forward thrusters are actually going to help us. I mean, it's pretty fast, I'm not going to lie. For it being a circuit board flying through the air, a little couch cushion, whatever this thing looks like. So let's, uh, let's do a barrel roll. There we go. That's pretty, uh, it's pretty decent. I mean, it's, it's not, it's not pretty, but dang, it does fly pretty good. So, uh, we're going to crash here. But look at that. We can just keep flying. So, um, like I said, it's all manual. Um, I, I hate to repeat myself, but one is to tilt forward, two is to tilt back, uh, three is left barrel roll, and four is right barrel roll. But that's the basics. I hope this helped a little bit at least. Um, if you want me to go more in depth and more uh, like step by step style, let me know. But um, don't be discouraged if you don't get it the first time. I completely understand. It is uh, it is very hard to learn in the beginning, for sure. So um, let me show you guys something. Hopefully I can find it, jeez. Um, here we go. So I made this guy, I don't know if you guys have seen it. I uh, went, I did a review on it um, on my top 10 flyers. Anyways, let me show you. Um, you will go from something looking like that to this. Not saying this looks cool, but um, this is a hang glider or a parachute, whatever you want to call it. But I just think this thing is one of the best. I mean, you can do so many things with it, and it's just, I don't know, it's really cool. Like, you can get really low to the ground and just, like, pull right back up again. Um, so suspension glitches are, like, a must in this game. I literally say that in every single video. Um... But yeah, I mean, this thing's really cool, you guys. You can do so much with it. I'm probably going to crash. Ah, there we go. Made it right through. But anyways, you guys, I hope you guys did enjoy the video, um, and I will see you guys in the next one.